All right, guys, since I do not have a lot of time, you know, during the day to record these things, I want to continue to use, you know, the live function of YouTube because this live thing is not only for the streamers or the gamers, <laughs> the hardware money also has to learn to use the live function. Right here, I have a HP a Lightbook 840 G5 notebook. Decent notebook, looking very clean, even though there are some little scratches here and there, but this is pretty much expected from used devices like this. See, I have a 256 gigabyte SSD right here, and I'm gonna be putting it right here because on this notebook, I have a 128 gigabyte of NVMe SSD, and I do not want that because it's just too small. The first thing I have to do is to ensure that these screws are taken up, and I'm just gonna, you know, use this screwdriver here to take out these screws one after the other, all right? So I have the second one out. I think I have actually covered, you know, a kind of reviewing this laptop on my YouTube channel. So if you are not subscribed, this is what you want to go ahead to do. Make sure you are subscribed because I tend to post a lot of videos on this channel and a lot of them you are ultimately going to find very, very interesting. All right. I have the, I'm going to say the first one, two, three, four, five, the fifth screw, and that's the sixth screw holding the back panel of this laptop. But if you look carefully, there are also two screws right here. Do not forget to open them. Otherwise, you're going to be fighting with taking out the back cover, and you might be wondering what's going on. Why is it not, why is it not opening? All right. So now that that is done, one thing I found out that if I hold on to this back panel and kind of lift it up on this particular kind of notebook, the HP Elite book, it's kind of easy to take out. And this is exactly what I have just done. All right. So if you grip it properly and lift it up, you will be able to take out the back panel. See, guys, this is exactly how it looks inside. You know, that's the SSD right there. That's the RAM stick. And that's the battery. Kind of looking very clean i do not necessarily have to go about cleaning it anymore it's already looking very clean the way it is but the main thing why i actually did open this laptop was to take out the ssd so i'm just going to go ahead and do that a little screw is right here holding the ssd if i take that out sorry for that and that's the screw right here very little be careful not to lose it and then i can actually pull out the you know, SSD, M.2 SSD that was there. And I want to replace it now with an NVMe SSD right here. This is a 256 gigabyte, like I said. And to do that, I'm just going to slot that in and then push it down so as to enable me, you know, screw my, put back my screw, all right? Okay, so that is in and I'm just going to screw down the screw once again. This is a very, very easy task. And this is why I decided, to, you know what, I'm just gonna go live and quickly knock this off because I don't necessarily have to set up my camera and begin to, you know, make a kind of studio recording of just simply, you know, changing the NVMe SSD on your notebook. Because I understand that if anybody wants to, you know, do this, the person just wants a quick solution. And this is the best solution i have for you right now all right but if you want to see a longer review of this laptop like i said feel free to be subscribed to the channel take a look at the older videos you would definitely be glad you did but you might be wondering now the money how can I actually get a similar notebook like this if you go to the description of this video you're going to be getting a link to the hardware money shop where you can actually find a lot of you know devices talking about desktop pcs laptops you know, mobile phones, tablets, you know, displays, 22 inches, 24 inches. You're going to be finding a lot of things at a very, very good, you know, price range. Take advantage of it. Go to the link in the description below. Check it and see you. Check it and you will possibly see exactly what you are looking for. The HP Light Desk 840G5 is there. Unfortunately, we do not have the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 right now, but as soon as I receive new inventories for that, I am definitely going to make sure that Lenovo Think Center T480 is posted on the hardware money shop. All right. So now that this is done, I'm just going to go back and screw in and screw on my screws to the back of the, you know, screw on my screws. And in this way, I have succeeded 
in exchanging the NVMe SSD on this thing, on this notebook right here. But then if you do not have an operating system already installed, the rest, you can easily figure out a way to install that, go onto the Microsoft website and download you know, the, the operating system that you need. Or if you want to go the way of Linux, this is definitely what somebody did suggest to me in an earlier video. And I'm still going to you know, take time out to try that out. So that's to try that out. So guys, exactly what you have. Thanks for to, to try that out. So guys, exactly what you have. If you've done it properly, everything should be looking nice and sweet. Until I see you again in the next video, 